Finally at six, the way we work has changed over the years, thanks in large part to new inventions and technology. On this Labor Day, we go back down the Pennsylvania road to Bradford County, where Mike Stevens found a museum that contains some labor saving equipment from way back in the day. A dog or a sheep or a goat. Joe Hare will tell you that this was quite the labor saver in its day. You put the dog or the sheep or the goat on here, and they stand here and do this. The value of such a machine is likely lost on you unless you've churned butter recently. That's what it did around the middle 1800s. Nearby there's a cradle churn, a pretty basic device that really served two purposes. The housewife, when she was churning the butter, would put the baby on top, rock the baby to sleep. Another major step forward in labor and time economy. All through the Bradford County Heritage Association Museum are things of the past. Grandfathers and great-grandfathers thought many of them the marvel of the day. Grandmothers, too, left a rich legacy of their lives that tells how they worked and lived, how hard they worked. There were seldom any store-bought clothes. They were made at home and made quite well. There's a story behind everything, including this sewing machine, given as a wedding gift to a couple married at the Troy Fair in 1894. It came back to the museum courtesy of the couple's great-granddaughter. As with every museum, remnants of the past get me to comparing then with now. The so-called good old days with today, where time seems to swirl down a bottomless pit marked yesterday. People in those days uh, worked hard, they played hard, and they had time to do things together and with the family and everything else. Take checkers, for example. Fellows would sit like this and play for hours and say, nary a word. That is an admirable thing, if you ask me. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Troy.